good morning once again absolutely jane once again here today i'm traveling to luxembourg we call it here luxembourg and it's gonna take about six and a half hours by train um so this is one of the examples i was talking about in my last video about traveling on a budget because it's gonna cost me only 60 euros to go to luxembourg and to come back to hamburg at the time ticket i mean and it was gonna cost me uh, by air 300 euros so you can imagine now uh, it's quite a uh, saving um of course there's some negatives on this uh, because it took me about six and a half hours uh, whereas by plane it would have taken me about 45 minutes to an hour but it's okay it's about saving it's about saving and if you have the time why not you can save some money so i'll continue updating you on my travels until then bye bye I left Hamburg this morning to travel to a city called uh, Trier, it's the oldest city in uh, Germany uh, and it used to be owned by the Roman Empire so it's got a very big history and there's so many things, there are ancient um, magnificent places that were left by the Romans that I needed to show you. So uh, in my last video I talked about um, how you can travel on a budget and I really did practically I traveled on a budget so I came with a train from Hamburg to Trier it's gonna cost you time because it took a whole six and a half hours but it was on a budget I could have flown and pay 300 euros but I chose to come by train and pay about 60 euros so it's actually a lot of saving down there right there so we are on top of a hill in the city of Trier and this river is the river Mosel and the reason why we are on the hill is so that you can be able to see to have a picture of the Trier city and we are on the standing on the western side of the city and the other side is the eastern side and that is the southern and that is the northern city you can see the design of this city it's quite it's quite nice it's, it's kind of like a banana uh, shape so it's quite interesting so as we go and visit the the ancient or oh, the Roman uh, 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 ruins are called in history I don't want to teach you history but I'll just tell you briefly the areas so I'll be explaining as as we visit the places so enjoy my video thank you So the other monument I'm going to show you is the Basilica of Constantine. It was commissioned by the Emperor Constantine, AD 306. The other Roman rooms I'm going to show you is the cathedral. 
it's uh, in other words the dome or saint peter's church catholic church this is another monument oldest catholic church in germany in largest religious structure in the city of tria uh, it contains important collection of christian art so just uh, we go inside and just uh, to take a look statue of Karl Marx. Karl Marx was a German philosopher. He was a critic of political economy. Uh, he was a communist and um, he was born here in the city of Trier. He studied in Bonn philosophy and history and later studied in Berlin. So our first day in Trier, I'm, I'm going to just walk around the city just for you to have a look at this city. It's not a very large city. The population is about 110,000. Um, um, so I'm just walking around and showing you basically how the city looks like so that you can have also an idea of the city. So guys, we are going now to the gate behind me. It's called Porta Negra. It's one of the Roman ruins. So let's go and check the estate. And don't forget, the German the, the Roman ruins are the most preserved among us, the most preserved here in the world. This one's here. You know, they, they, they're still in their state and in very good condition. So nothing has been, they've not been tampered with. So they are truly the, the Roman ruins. <laughs> It was now time to take a cup of glue wine, called in English mild wine. It's an alcoholic tra traditional uh, wine served hot or warm in winter, especially around Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 